how do you see Philippine politics today? Well, I think that it's uh, evolutionary. Uh, certainly, I see an electorate that is uh, much more educated, much worldlier, much uh, broader than 2010 and uh, than 2004 and uh, and every uh, iteration before that. No, uh, we have 10 million people in the diaspora. We've got 1 million people who are here earning their income, essentially being connected to the outside world. That's in the IT, BPO, call center uh, industry. Yeah. There's another 1 million, roughly, people who are earning their money uh, through IT by being editors, uh, graphic artists, uh, uh, English teachers, and tutors to the rest of the world. Yeah. You know? So, so you, you can't help but uh, be much worldlier, much more attuned to modernity and modernization and, and global patterns. So it's a very exciting time. And, and I think that, that 2016 is very, very unique uh, because for the first time in many generations, it is actually a valid campaign platform to say ituloy. Uh, kadalasan in every election, patalsikin, baguhin, you know, reforma, etc. Ang panawagan. No? But for 2016, uh, because of the performance of President Pinoy and Daang Matuid, it is a very, very valid, credible platform uh, for us. And that's what exactly what Lenny and I are projecting, which is itutuloy natin ang Daang Matuid. No? Uh, and, and I think for, th for those reasons, um, it's going to be quite unique.